It actually kind of makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to... to feed at the same time. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. The irony is they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. I wish I could answer that. I really do. I don't even remember it happening. When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside, like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about or something. Maybe all of our kind do. As soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. I don't remember how long I sat there on the floor staring at my parents' bodies. It seemed like days I wanted to feed, to eat their flesh. But it was like a little bit of me was holding on. Then, out of nowhere, there was shouting outside and a knock at the door. I opened it, and it was Vance. He seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside. He took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, okay. I suppose not. I was about ten years old and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. Oh, okay. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. Uh -oh. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. She said I, like, changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was going to kill her. The wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed too. I just don't know. Lucy said Mom and Dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away until... Well, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I'm not totally dumb. I know they were in stories and all that. But who knows? Maybe Vance is right and vampires were just people like us who learned to control their hunger and drink only blood. I mean, vampires are regarded as feared monsters instead of hunted animals like cannibals. Kind of makes sense. Nah. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. Oh, sir. Huh? What do you want? Oh. I she... She really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just going to gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Oh, yeah. Ups, ow. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Just as people, it's me. I feel the avoid, but sorry. I can't I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Yes.
As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. I suppose we could stop our raids on Arafu in light of this situation, but that just forces us to prey on others. Unless, many years ago, I survived by drinking from preserved blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs are scarce. Agreed. Please take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Uh, it, it, it works. I take it. There he is, the hero of the day. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the Wastes. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Uh. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Uh. Wait, go. I knew you couldn't stay away. Thanks for setting me straight on everything. It's weird living in my parents' old house with them gone, but I'll make the best of it. Everyone around here is being nice to me despite what happened, so I guess it all turned out well. Thanks. She... she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. Okay. Sounds good. Come back and visit me sometime. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go. Always a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What brings you down here today? 
Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the blood, allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads inside you. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake of the blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire. I'm certain our paths will cross again. Okay, let's go. What's up? Crappy as usual. Yep. This is more of a... More of a... Oh. Yeah. Hello there. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Oh, okay, well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. Oh, yeah. Hello there, nice to- Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, more elbow chest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh 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 ye